Welcome back to our second half hour. Community help continues for the dozen Michigan motorcyclists involved in a crash on Highway 151 in Fond du Lac County more than a month ago. A deadly crash. One man died at the scene while another man died a few days later. Clinton Lovelace of Hilbert is now awaiting trial on charges of second-degree reckless homicide and second-degree reckless injury. Lovelace allegedly crossed the center line of the highway with his car and hit 10 of the 12 motorcycle riders. They were all from the Muskegon Motorcycle Gang, and the group was on its way back to Michigan at the time of the crash. Now, a fundraiser for the victims and their families was started in Fond du Lac. And as Fox 11's Chad Doran shows us, it's brought the motorcycle community together. Messages of support for victims of a deadly motorcycle crash in Fond du Lac County adorn this flag at Open Road Harley Davidson in Fond du Lac. We really felt compelled. What can we do to help? The flag, along with more than $20,000, will soon be given to members of the Muskegon Motorcycle Gang in Michigan. Twelve members of the group were riding back to Michigan when they were struck by a car driven by Clinton Lovelace of Hilbert on May 31st. Lovelace is charged with killing two members of the group and injuring eight others. Members of Open Road Harley Davidson were at the scene that day. You know, the riding community is really heartfelt, and um, they've come together to, to help these families recover and to try to find some normalcy, you know, after the tragedy on 151. It's been just over five weeks since the accident, and donations, both big and small, continue to come in, showing how the Harley community comes together. The neat thing about the Harley Davidson community is that uh, riders who are part of this club. And I call it a club, but it's very unique because uh, they really stick up for each other. They help each other. Mark Radke says he's not surprised by the support of the Harley community. But Thiel says she is surprised by the amount of money riders, as well as businesses and other people in the community, have raised. I mean, it's been phenomenal, the outreach of people coming in here and wanting to help these families. You know, they've been through so much, and if there's something we can do to help them piece their lives together, this is a way to do it. It's One small donation at a time. In Fond du Lac, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Two of the motorcycle riders are still in the hospital, but Thiel says they could be released in the next few weeks. Workers at the dealership say they've seen a huge increase in helmet sales since the accident.